it's been a while since I've been saved, and I just um, I want to do this as the next step with my journey with him. Um, and I just want to say, you know, God's love is incredible. Um, I see the blessing every day, and by his grace, he's the reason why I'm here and I give thanks to him. And in time of, in, in time of, in, of adversity, you know, he strengthens me and he carries me through. And um, I just couldn't do it without him. So I give him all the glory. Yay. I give him all the praise. And there's nothing to hinder me today. So, yes, I'm going to get baptized. Okay. So, Carrie ann do you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. And do you promise to follow him to the best of your ability for the rest of the days of your life? Yes, I do. Upon that confession, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. First of all, I just want to say how welcoming everyone was when we first came here, and well, still are. Put it up a bit. And, um, and all the love we've been shown, and um, all the hugs. <laughs> um, I just, and so I've just written a bit down. The church I first went to with my parents was Chalton Road Gospel Hall in Lawrence Hill, which is how I know Jill helps. Then we left there to go to St. Nicholas Road Gospel Hall in St. Paul's, as we lived just up the hill from there. And it was there that I first got baptised. But probably only being about 12, I really don't remember much about it. So I asked Rich if I could be rebaptized to show my commitment to the Lord. And uh, I just want to say as well that I was saved um, on the beach in Clevedon at um, the meetings that they did on the beach, the beach missions. And now I live there. <laughs> Um, and I just want to say as well, yesterday I was listening to the hymn, I'm longing for Jesus to come and take me to my home beyond the skies, up there where saints will shout and sing. And it reminded me of something Julia said to me a couple of weeks ago. Um, she said, I'm not going to die, I'm going up in the rapture. And I just thought how wonderful it would be if all of us here today and listening online would hold, could hold hands and all go up in the rapture together. Um. Amazing. So, so um, we, we are so pleased and thankful that um, we have Christine among us as our sister. So, I would like to just pray now and say, Father God, we praise you. We thank you for Christine. We thank you that you have carried her all these years through her life. But Lord, we also thank you that she is willing to today re-engage re with you, to restate her love for you, and to leave behind all those things which are pulling her back. We ask that you will work through your Holy Spirit in her life and that you will restore anything that was lost, that you will heal anything that is hurt and that you will fill her today with your love, your peace and your joy. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Surprise, Christine. I know. I said I wasn't going to do this. I couldn't do it, I said, but the Lord had other plans. Um, and he's really laid on my heart um, over the last week uh, this deep feeling for you. 
uh, he wants to assure you of uh, that he has brought you to this place and this time for this action for you to have that special experience with him he's been looking forward to this Christine with joy and with love because he does that so much for you and he wants this to be a special rich experience to you as you go down into the water he wants you to release consciously in your mind and let go all those deep hurts you have for him to wash away that renew you like Richard said and other people have said that you will come up new as you come up in newness of life in Christ be assured of his uh, lo how he has loving you, lovingly held you in the palm of his hands. That's what the scripture says, doesn't it? He has held you lovingly in the palm of his hands since conception, Christine. And you know what that means, don't you? Um, and he wants to fill you with his love, acceptance, freedom, restoration, joy, and for you to enjoy life to his fullest. <coughs> So, Christine, do you accept Jesus as your Lord and Saviour? Yeah. And do you promise to follow him to the best of your ability for the rest of the days of your life? Yes. Upon that confession, we baptise you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hello everyone. Uh, I don't know where to start really. God's done so, so much for me. I lost for like over 40 years stuck in addiction and crime and violence and things. And then I, I was, came out of prison. I was risk going back, risking going back because I was losing my accommodation. And then I got some new accommodation just up the road. And I got up one day I thought, I haven't used for drugs for over 22 years now. But I'm going to go and score this morning. So I went down Lodge Causeway, sat at the bus stop waiting for my dealer. He just put the gear in my hand, and two ladies, these two wonderful ladies just, just here, stopped me in the street and says, God wants you to come to church. I thought, what? And uh, she prayed for me. Yeah, yeah, they prayed for me. Um, I threw the gear away, went back home. What were all that about? Scratched my head. And I came on the Sunday, and I've been coming every week for 12 weeks. I made a commitment to the Lord, told Rich I won't get baptised. Then the enemy had a go at me. So I come to the front of the church on last Monday, made a confession about my crimes and things, and just asked the Lord to release me. And I've just been so, so blessed. And it's amazing. God is love. God is forgiveness. And God is power. Um, so last Monday we were praying for you and I woke up um, next morning, um, sorry, I woke up next morning with, I thought, a very clear scripture for you. Um, now God sees the beginning, he sees the end, he sees the middle, okay? So I think um, if you listen, there's no one here, it's just me and you speaking. Um, it's John um, chapter 1 verse 12. I think it's poignant for you going forward. Because as you've um, said, you've come from a life of many years, in 16 years in prison thereabouts. Now, the enemy, he can't walk on your path when God calls you on the path. But he can shout from the sidelines. Okay? So when he starts shouting from the sidelines, just know this. The minute that you turned your heart to say, do you know what? I believe. Jesus said, I accept you. Not only did he say, I accept you, but he gave you power to change. Are you hearing me? Yes. He gave you power to change. So anytime you feel weakness, he's speaking specifically to you. Anytime you, see, you feel weakness in any area, Jesus is saying, Steve, 
from the very beginning, I gave you power to change. Okay? You read that. <clears throat> but to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. You hear that? Now, Stephen. Steve or Stephen? Steve. Uh, do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior? Yes. Do you promise to um, keep his commandments to the best of your abilities to the, uh, for the rest of your life? Yes. Um, upon hearing that confession, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Spirit, um, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I, uh, my story is a little bit similar to Steve's. Um, I was in addiction, crime, drugs, um, all my life. Um, I've been clean now for five years. So, yeah. Thank you. It's, it, it's a battle, you know, every day. But with the Lord there, I suppose, you know, it's, it makes it easier, you know. Um, got a good partner behind me. Yeah, we went that long ago. We we were rock bottom with nothing. Yeah, we we were homeless, living in a tent. You know, and uh, had nothing. Now we've got everything. You know, we've got we've got we've got our own place, job, car. You know, still together. You know, still laughing. You know, so yeah, bless the Lord. Thank you. <laughs> Kai, do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour? To the best of your ability, Kai, do you promise to follow his ways and commandments for the rest of your days? Upon that confession, I confess you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. nervous <laughs> I like sh shaking all over so um, yeah I haven't, I haven't prepared anything to say at all so I'm just going with the flow here just, uh, just yeah thank you everyone um, I'm feeling really sort of humble actually because uh, just uh, Feel really sort of vulnerable, <laughs> really vulnerable, like uh, like I like I'm down to my bare bones or something. Like uh, all is revealed, um, and it is quite scary. Uh, but yeah, I just have to just totally trust that uh, trust in God, trust. Oh, I I feel this is right, so uh, I'm just trusting. Trusting from now on. Amen. 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 Jackie, um, I don't know. You you came into this church, and I I don't know. You we just sort of um, we just sort of clicked, and I just felt for you so much and wanted you to be in God's kingdom, and uh, I prayed for you. And um, all of this week, I've had a piece of scripture that I felt was for me, and, and it has been, but I felt really, really strongly that I had to share this with you today. And it is some, from Psalm 51. This has been going around my head all week in different, different bits of it. I've said different things to me, but I felt this was for you. 
because I felt this is a really new start for you, a clean slate for you. And it says, purify me from my sins and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Oh, give me back my joy again. You have broken me. Now let me rejoice. Don't keep looking at my sins. Remove the stain of my guilt. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a loyal spirit within me. And I felt that was right for you, that you can leave all the past behind, all the old things that you ever thought you knew and that you've done, and you can start again fresh, clean, white as snow with God today. Amen. Jackie, having heard those words and knowing that you have put yourself in Jesus' hands, this is what he says to you. The Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet you with his love. Yeah. And he will rejoice over you with singing. Yeah. He loves you. You are precious. Okay. Jackie, do you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. And do you promise to follow him to the best of your ability for the rest of the days of your life? Yes, I do. Upon that confession, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, what's your name, sorry? Hi, Jackie. I'm just meeting Jackie properly for the first time. Jackie's going to be getting baptized, which is your mum. And you got baptized not that long ago, did you? And your mum was like, what's going on? I'm going to come check it out. Yeah? So did you want to say something? Yeah. Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, I was brought up in a Baptist church. Well, not in a Baptist church. Going to a Baptist church. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel more embarrassed than I did two minutes ago. <laughs> um, I've always wanted to be baptised, never did, so now I feel that the time is right. Amen. Although I hate being underwater. <laughs> um, I'm just going to read you um, what God read to me on my baptism, and I go back to it all the time when I'm, when I'm feeling nervous myself. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with, the righteous, um, with my righteous right hand. Behold, all who are incensed against you shall be put to shame and confounded. Those who strive against you shall be as nothing can, shall perish. You shall seek those who contend with you, but you shall not find them. Those who war against you shall be as nothing, as all, as no, as nothing at all. I'm stuttering. For I, the Lord your God... Hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, fear not. I am the one who helps you. Jackie, are we ready here? Um, do you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? I do. And do you promise to follow him to the best of your ability for the rest of the days of your life? Yes, I do. Upon that confession, we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So, um, yeah, I, um, this was not planned, obviously. Um, I had to change the clothes in the car and thought, I might be baptising somebody else. Um, but, yeah, God knows. Um, I've known um, Billy, or William, as I call her, for, like, since um, she was uh, very, very young. 
um, and it's um, an absolute privilege to, um, to be baptising you uh, today. Um, yeah, I just want to see God do amazing things in you now. You know, it's time. Amen. Amen. Okay, Billy, do you accept Jesus as your Lord and Saviour? I do. And do you promise to follow him to the best of your ability for the rest of the days of your life? I do. Amen. Okay, upon that confession, we baptise you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When Alicia first came to church, um, she felt it was for the friendship aspect, but then later she realized that it wasn't for, because of friends or friendship, it was for God, and the whole time he was changing her slowly. Um, ever since she joined this church, she felt the miracles, the Holy Spirit, God's presence, and much more. She's happy to be devoting her life to Jesus, and she chose to get baptized because she feels like God's been talking to her a lot lately, and wanted to give her life to Jesus before it's too late. And she's happy, yeah. I am cho she's choosing to devote her life to Jesus. She chose the song, Rest On Us, before a few days ago. The choir were singing the same song and the words, you are here, I know you're moving, really stuck with me. Because I can always feel God's presence, almost like he's talking to me, but he's not physically. And when this song was sung, I could really feel God talking to me and telling me he's proud of me. I just wanted to say I'm thankful for everyone. Tash dropping me home and doing so much for me. Janice being my best friend and inviting me to this church. Devine for inspiring me every day. Rich for his amazing prayer. Jab for his amazing jokes and dance moves. Taylor for making me laugh so much. And my parents, because I wouldn't be today. And I'm sorry if you're not on there, but for the most of all, God's the one man who carried me through everything. And I'm grateful for everything that he's made me feel like this is my second home. Um, I knew you through my daughter again, another one. Uh, since I knew you, I've really fallen in love with you, as I do, with all of my, fr my daughter's friends. Um, this morning, it's a privilege for me to give you a word as you baptize on behalf of your mom. Um, first, I'll give you a word, then I'll say a little prayer for you. I like this, this particular Proverbs 3 for teenagers, because at this stage, you think we know a lot, but we have to surrender everything to God. So I'll leave you this Proverbs 3. Um, then I'll give you a little prayer, all right? I pray that God should lead you and direct you in your new path that you've taken. It's very worthwhile. You'll never regret it, all right? Okay. So um, don't forget what I teach you, my child. Always remember what I tell you to do. My teaching will give you a long and prosperous life. Never let go of loyalty and faithfulness. Tie them round your neck. Write them on your heart. If you do this, both God and people will be pleased with you. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Never rely on what you think you know. Remember the Lord in everything you do, and he will show you the right way. Amen? Amen. Okay, let me, say, let me read a little prayer for you. Oh, Lord, we surrender um, Alicia to you this morning, oh, Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, surrender, I mean, surround her with goodness. Lead her in your light each day. Help her walk in the path you've chosen for her. Guide her footsteps along the way. Teach her, Lord, to trust in your wisdom with a faith, with a faith from above. Keep her from all harm and bless her always with your grace and love. Amen. Um, I'm her dad, and is her mother, and um, I am proud that she's doing this, because um, everywhere she goes, she makes friends with everybody, so I'm proud of you, Alicia, and all these people are your friends, and um, I just love how you're doing this, because Nanny Stewart will be proud of you, okay? I don't even know what to say. 
just to say, Alicia, I'm so proud of you. Alicia, you have drew the right way. You have made a way before me. Alicia, you could have chosen something else. But thank God, you have led you in the right way. Tash, I thank you so much. All of our friends, I thank you so much. She always speak about you people. And thank God, she chose the right way before her, her soul lost. I'm going to make it. I'm going to follow you, Alicia. I'm going to follow you. And I need to. Amazing. Um, I'm getting emotional, so we're just going to say these words before I cry. Um, Alicia, do you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? I do. And do you promise to follow him to the best of your ability for the rest of the days of your life? I do. Upon that confession, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.